The Montana Military Museum will host the first Special Service Force Association next year at Fort Harrison, so they are gathering funds to restore their long mural in the building. During World War II, the Fort Harrison Servicemen's Club was used by units who were training for combat at the fort. The building currently serves as a large training classroom and social space. It hosts about 10,000 personnel every year. Tucked away in the back is this mural celebrating the first Special Service Force and those who served during World War II. What's unique about it, we have probably the first depiction of women in military service during World War II. That's a key element because you didn't find in any of the murals, there's only three that I've identified that depicted this kind of material, you know, where you have women center mass. According to Ray Reed with the Montana Military Museum, the mural was painted in the 1940s and the material is declining. It's been up there for almost 80 years now, it has not been ever treated. We've never restored it or anything like that, just looked at it, we've used it, we've abused it. So what we're in the process of doing right now is we chose this last fall uh, to uh, make it a project to restore that. Matt Egan is the artist in charge of bringing the 27,000 square inch mural back to life. He plans to spend about two months cleaning, repainting, and restoring. He says the biggest challenge are the unknowns. There are some hollow spots. There are some, some spots that have severe damage that can't see. There is also a piece up here that we just we call the big spot that it's been up there for over decades and nobody knows what it is. When we get cleaning that will be the very that's where we're going to start. The military museum says they will need about $10,000 to complete the project. The museum says they will begin restoration on the project once they've reached their goal in funds. In Helena, Alexi Guayo, MTN News.